Have you ever pondered the origin of courage in fear's presence? This question has undoubtedly crossed all our minds at least once. Fear, uncertainty, confusion. These are genuine human experiences that impact every life, no matter who you are or where you originate. What if I propose that there exists a wellspring of strength that could assist you in navigating these tumultuous waters? This strength, this bedrock, is faith. For many it's not just any faith, but specifically the Christian faith. Consider individuals like Martin Luther King Jr., a man who confronted the wave of racial injustice, powered by his faith. Not just any faith but faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amid fear and uncertainty figures like MLK found a bedrock in their Christian faith. It's a potent testament to human resilience and the everlasting power of faith. The teachings of Christ offer a wellspring of courage and motivation. Immerse yourself in a story from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 32 to 41. Visualize the scenario, a small boat tossed by a violent storm on the Sea of Galilee. The disciples, seasoned fishermen, are consumed by fear. But there, amidst the chaos, Christ sleeps. In their panic they rouse him, questioning, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Christ, undisturbed by the storm, chastises the wind and says to the sea, Peace, be still. And just like that, the wind ceases, and there is a great calm. He then turns to his disciples and inquires, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? This story, while set in an ancient context, resonates deeply with our modern lives. We all have our storms, moments of panic and fear especially when we are coming into a new year. Perhaps it's a health scare, a financial crisis or a shaky relationship. These personal tempests can leave us feeling just like those disciples, scared, uncertain and desperate for calm. The words Christ spoke to his disciples he speaks to us now. Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? These aren't words of rebuke but a gentle reminder. A reminder that faith in him is a source of immeasurable strength. A reminder that even when the waves are high and the wind is strong, he is there. He is in control. He is peace. In the midst of our personal storms these words can serve as a powerful reminder of where our strength truly lies. They remind us to trust in His power, to lean on His understanding and to find solace in His peace. So when the waves rise and the winds howl, remember the teachings of Christ. Remember His power over the storm. Remember His question, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? In the midst of our personal storms these words can serve as a powerful reminder of where our strength truly lies. Christ serves as an anchor, offering strength and stability amidst life's tempests. This profound metaphor borrows from the imagery of the old maritime world, where an anchor was the sole thing that prevented a vessel from being carried away during a storm. Now envision that anchor as a symbol of Christ. Just as an anchor steadies a ship, Christ steadies us. This idea is beautifully encapsulated in the biblical verse from Hebrews 6.19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. This verse proposes that with Christ as our anchor, our souls remain firm and secure, unscathed by life's tumultuous waves. The faith in Christ as an anchor can inspire us, offering courage and resilience in the face of hardship. It reassures us that no matter the intensity of the storm, we are not solitary. We are anchored. With Christ as our anchor, we can confront any storm with bravery and resolve. Faith in Christ is not a passive acceptance but an active engagement with our fears, a force that propels us forward, that drives us to confront our darkest moments with an unwavering spirit. It's about trusting in the promise of the unseen, the yet to be revealed. Reflect on the conviction of Mother Teresa conveyed through her words, I know God will not give me anything I can't handle, I just wish he didn't trust me so much. Her faith was an active trust in the divine plan, more than a passive acceptance of her circumstances. Also consider Billy Graham's proclamation, Courage is contagious. When a brave soul steps forth, the resolve of others is often bolstered. This is faith in action, not merely a belief but a catalyst for courage, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. As we negotiate the intricacies of life especially in this new year of 2024, let it be known fear is a paper tiger, and whatever is projected by the media or others may just be a ploy to sway our actions. We are aware that everything is under the control of the Creator, the God of Israel, and we should be ready for anything but never succumb to fear. That is the enemy's strategy to deviate us from our God-intended path. Countless lives have been shattered by fear, so fear not but have a great new year, and throw unhealth fear into a trash bin.